Aside from having a buddy, I wouldn't call him a mentor, but a buddy at the time do it. How did you have the confidence to just say, was it like, what, what do I have to lose? Yeah, because how old were you? Yeah. 27? I was, I was 27. I was 20, 26, 27. So, I mean, you know, so I had some, uh, I mean, I had some courage, you know, I, I definitely did. But um, I think even back then, you know, for me, failure was just not an option. You mm. know, like I decided I was going to do this. And um, Love you. and actually through the internet, uh, through the interview process, the dude, one of the partners, Vince, um, I had been interviewed and, uh, and made an offer as a functional consultant. Um, this makes maybe a little bit more sense to us, but I was, I was a functional consultant. And, and so, so I got the offer, I accepted that. And then like the first week of, uh, you know, onboarding at Aggressor, the, the, one of the founders who's more like the technical side of the business mm-hmm. called me into his office and was like, yo, um, I want you to be an integration developer. Um, I like you and, and I know you can do it. And I remember sitting there and I was like, I know what you just said. This is probably one of the, like, you know, like my proud, one of my like proudest early, like big boy moments. I was like, Vince, I don't know anything about what you're describing right now. I've never looked at a line of code before ever, but if you think I can do it, I'll do it. Wow. I won't let you down. So someone else's belief in you Dude, that, that made you believe I, yourself. I've, to, I've told you the story. Literally, I have the exact same story about going into sales. Yeah. Where the co-founder of the company called me into his office and said, you've been here a year and a half. I think you'd be... Well, first, he goes, have you ever thought about sales? And I said, exact same thing you said to that. I said, no. And he said, well, I think you'd be really good at it. What do you think? And I said the exact same thing you said. Well, if you think I'd be good at it, then sure. I won't let you down. <laughs> yeah, then I'll do yeah. it. And he goes, okay, go to Houston on Monday. Yeah. And I went there. Yeah. No, I think I was in a, I think I was in like a like a studio training the next yeah. day. And I'm yeah. like, hold up, guys, like to all the other kind of smart dudes who are much smarter than me. I was like, <laughs> what is studio? You know? Well, uh can yeah. I can I look over your shoulder here a little bit? But um in those days for me it was just I knew what my strengths were and I knew that they were not in like a core understanding of what we were doing technically. So I had to work harder than everybody else. Mm. You know, it was, it was later nights for me. It was, you know, not being afraid to ask for help. And I got a lot of it, dude. I had some really good, a really good, like young group of consultants around me. You know, some, you know, my, my, uh, one of my best friends, Brennan yeah. was, was my desk mate back then, you know, that, that we met back then those days at aggressor and, and, um, he, he just flew out here to surprise me for my birthday last week. So, you know, we've, we've, we've remained really close, but it was just through that. I mean, that was just grit. It was just nothing, nothing other than a, a refusal to fail. Like I want, if I got something that I knew I couldn't do, all I, all I knew I could do to deliver was work hard. Mm, it's, all, is, it's all I knew I could do. I, di- I didn't have the skill. I just had to keep going until it was done. What was your why back then? Um, why just, did you work so hard? Just a refusal to fail. I mean, I'm just, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to tell somebody I didn't get it done. That's it. But were you doing it for you or were you doing it for someone else? Um, At that time, because your why changes over time. Yeah. I mean, I think I'd probably was doing it for me. You know what I mean? Like I, I, um, you know, I wanted to be somebody, mm. you know, I wanted to be, and I was a little bit older than, than, you know, not a little chip on your shoulder, not all of my, uh, peers, but. Do. Yeah, but I mean, I, you know, I, I knew that they had a little bit more kind of raw talent in that field than me, mm-hmm. but, um, but I knew they weren't better than me. You know what I mean? So if there was a why, it's just that kind of that, like, I mean, you know, you guys are athletes like that competitive nature and, in, in, um, you know, you're sitting around a cube of like four young men and we're all like developing these things and these kids all went to like, you know, different schools and, and, and you know, industrial engineering majors and I'm like... This kind of older dude who, uh, yeah, who making barbecue and yeah, he's, partying he's, at Chico. He's slanging barbecue for ten years, yeah. you know what I mean? And uh, uh, so yeah, I mean, I had I had something to prove, and um, but you know, one thing that I knew, what I had was I had a little bit of um, kind of a gift with with the consulting side of things. You mm-hmm. know, customers like me, and th- and that's what I think. If I you know, as I'm thinking through that, you know, what my why was was 
was to cultivate that more. Like I saw it. I saw it. I knew customers like got real time feedback. That's the cool part about consulting is you could tell like, wow, they're reacting to, you know, my points more than my my points are resonating. Yeah. And if I worked my ass off to get like the technical stuff done, I knew that I had a little bit of a kind of a leg up on, on that part of it. So it was just that, I mean, the why was just a refusal to fail and, you know, trying to, trying to be better than myself yesterday, but also better than everybody else who's sitting around that pod because you know, you growing up young in those ranks, like we all wanted to go and get promoted, dude. We all wanted more. Oh, money. it's hyper competitive, you know I mean? man. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's it cut a lot there. of that.